Hello there. Today I'm talking about consumerism. Consumerism is a huge issue in today's global world. It affects us everywhere. Forests, the air, economy, and even our bank accounts. Our government are trying to solve these problems, but obviously they can't do it by themselves. I have taken on a bit of a challenge to find three solutions to help our world today. So first, I looked for where I could do these three solutions. Should I try and help replenish the forests of Canada? Or uh, should I even try to protest towards the power companies who are drying out our world's resources? However, I decided that the best way to improve our world is to first reuse and recycle. You may be wondering why Giving Close to Salvation Army is going to help heal the consumerism line. Well, it will. At the end of the line, the last stage is the incinerator stage, where all garbage of any type will be placed in an incinerator to burn, then be shoveled into a pile also known as your very own landfill. So, in my efforts, I gathered clothing from around the house that may have been thrown away. Instead, I brought it to Salvation Army to reduce the amount of garbage. It is said that Americans send 10.5 million tons of clothing to the landfills every year. I think this is a good thing to start on. Let's reduce our clothing. Fifty billion plastic bottles in a year. I rest my case. So my idea was to reduce my plastic bottle usage by only using a water bottle. Not only am I reducing my plastic usage, but also keeping the money in the bank. To all the people who love their pops, by just buying a liter of plastic bottle filled a pop, you can save at least three bottles of plastic. For all the Gatorade lovers and Powerade cravers, just get a large tin of powder, either Gatorade or Powerade, that can save calculated to 38 and a half plastic Gatorade Powerade bottles. So I have decided that with my dad, I would show him trying to buy a $7 pack of canned water. Instead, I directed my father to a dollar store where I would present a water bottle that would save nearly, I don't know, thousands of plastic water bottles. It's your imagination. <laughs> By just filling it with your tap water. Not only plastic am I reducing, but it would also save money. And incidentally, that canned water that my dad was trying to buy was from Switzerland, which is an outrageous distance to travel. Obviously the boat is polluting the air with its gas and fuel and so on. Uh, but it is also taking up many resources just to package, so I found this as the best solution. For my last solution in changing our earth, I decided to sort my garbage. Easy? <laughs> no.